Remember over a month ago when I made that video titled It Happened Again, the Yankees lose out on the best arm available, that arm being Luis Castillo. In my opinion, the second coming of Pedro Martinez. I had a lot of brain dead comments on there saying that I was overreacting. Overreacting. Fast forward now, Yankees settled for, I wouldn't even call it second rate. I would call it the Oakland Coliseum Special. Where you could put any decent picture to pitch in Oakland. And they'll have legit looking numbers. It happens over and over again. You guys didn't see this coming? With Frankie Montas. Luckily I'm on record. Not vouching for Montas. And even after the Yankees got him. I know a lot of people that were. On board with that. I was maybe on board with it. If the Yankees acquired another. Starting pitcher with Montas. Because obviously it wasn't going to be enough. And we're seeing it now. This guy sucks so bad that he should be left out of the postseason roster. Heck, the Yankees should trade him this offseason. The Yankees got a better version of Ivan Nova. Kind of similar builds, kind of similar deliveries. That's what you got with Montas. I wouldn't even call it a better version of Ivan Nova. He's Ivan Nova 2.0. Look at this uh, tweet from my friend MLB Marathon. Yankees, Frankie Montas has allowed four plus earned runs in five of his eight starts since being traded. They brought him in to be their number two behind Cole. <laughs> You guys, oh my god, these Yankees fans that were bashing me uh, because of Cashman's uh, inability to get a real number two behind Cole or even a number one in front of Cole. Let's continue. A number two behind Cole, but one could argue he shouldn't be on the postseason roster. And he's correct. I mean, you're just giving up games at this point. The Yankees gave him a, a five-run lead early. Against a lousy pitcher, Hauser. I know uh, IKF had that misplay in the eighth. Had the uh, Brewers take the lead, but this game is on Montas. Supposedly the number two. (laughs) This is like uh, smoking crack at this point. um, There's so many Yankees fans that have confidence... And Cashman is un- unbelievable, especially when it comes to starting pitching. We've seen it over and over again. But the Mariners gave up way too much for Luis Castillo. Do you understand Luis Castillo, in my opinion, and many others will say this, is the second coming of Pedro Martinez? And then again, the people that said I was overreacting because Brian Cashman has no idea what he's doing. When it comes to acquiring the best arms, come trade that line. We'll say, Felix, that's BS. Uh, Luis Castillo is nothing like Pedro Martinez. Okay, that happened. The Mariners got him. Okay, the Yankees got Montas, but they needed another arm, a starter, to maybe get close To let's say if they would had acquired a Luis Castillo. But Luis Castillo is out of this world. Maybe get close to the impact that that kind of arm would have had on the Yankees. But then again, the Yankees want to be the smartest or, or maybe cheapest in the room. Because they settled for Montas. They knew this guy's numbers were... I wouldn't even say inflated because inflated says a large number, but I'm saying inflated in a good way 
they knew his numbers appeared great because any pitch, any de- decent picture that pitches in the Coliseum is going to have legit numbers. And it's going to cost the Yankees big. You cannot go into the postseason where we have Cole imploding in big games all the time. Not even big games at this point. He's being Pittsburgh Cole versus everybody. You got Tyon at question mark. You know who's your ace? Nestor Cortez. Again, you know who shouldn't be long in a starting rotation come postseason? Frankie Montas. We are so close to the finish line. You cannot have your supposed second behind Cole give up a five-run lead. This is pathetic. I, for one, warned everybody. I don't care if it's not the popular thing to say at the moment. I even said the same thing about Cole. He's going to turn into Pittsburgh Cole. That wasn't popular to say when I said it. And I'm going to say this now. The other trades that Brian Cashman made. I'm forgetting his name. The relief pitcher they got from Oakland. And Scott Efros. Maybe I said his name wrong, but I don't care. They're not going to save the Yankees season either. When Efron's comes back, I see a lot of Yankees fans saying this. Oh my God, he's going to be the difference maker. I can't wait to have him back. Here's a reality check. These trades weren't that great. And if any of these guys make the postseason roster over Clark Schmidt, who in my opinion was and is the perfect replacement to Michael King, then I'm going to lose my shit. Simple as that. I'm not saying that these guys are bad. I'm just saying, Yankees fans, some of these Yankees fans need to get their hands out of their asses. These are more of the same kinds of trades that Brian Cashman made because he was going bargain hunting. Okay? So I don't want to hear about these guys are going to be the it guys that put the Yankees over the top. Just as Frankie Montas is and never will put the Yankees on top. You got Ivan Nova 2.0. With that being said, my previous video, I said these three pitchers need to show up in Milwaukee. You can scratch Montas off the board. Now Tyone has to show up. Cole has to show up. This is a great test for the starting rotation. And then people wonder why Hal Steinbrenner and Brian Cashman are always booed. Because you make stupid poverty moves like not settling for Luis Castillo, hyping all these prospects up, and settling on the second-rate option. I wouldn't even call it second-rate at this point. <laughs> this guy is below second-rate. I wish I, I could paste the uh, images of the comments I got of idiots saying I was overreacting. Overreacting to a common theme that Brian Cashman pulls over and over again when it comes to getting a legit arm. There you have it. I I didn't want to be right, but it's so obvious to see. Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.